Today, Emperor Gorganus uses his powers to increase the Galactic Sentinel's sense of competition, threatening to destroy the unity of the tattooed teenagers from Beverly Hills. Molecular, home planet of the diabolically evil Emperor Gorganus. Gorganus has vowed to use his army of alien monsters to conquer Earth. The focal point of a system of power portals he needs to rule the universe. I am Nimbar. Head protector of the power portals. To carry out my mission to stop Gorganus, I have chosen four teenagers from Beverly Hills. I summon them by flashing their tattoos. Then they transform into galactic sentinels. Scorpio! Horus! Centaur! Apollo! The fate of the Earth depends on these tattooed teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills. than you. Then why must I encounter so much resistance from this silly little planet Earth? Perhaps they are not aware of who they are dealing with? It's Nimba and his meddling galactic sentinels that protect, they uh, rob the Earth of my rule. And Nitron, don't forget Nitron, sire. Silence before I... Wait, wait, you, you have given me an idea. Libra, you shall be the deliverer of my victory. Now go and let the Sentinels find you, and when they approach, blast them with this new and improved disruptor ray. But master, you have tried to turn the Sentinels against each other before. Yes, but this will be a slower process that they will not detect until it is too late. After three hits with the disruptor ray, they will never want to form Nitron again, and the Earth will be mine! <laughs> It's no, my fault. I should have signaled before I turned. Yeah. You want to buy a candy bar? Need one of these, sailor? You're selling candy bars, too? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you be better suited planning a dance or something? Huh. Very funny. For your information, I sold over 400 candy bars last year. Well, that's only because I had the flu. This year's going to be different. Well, good luck. I won't need it. See, there's a demand out there, and now I'm the supply. I just love competition. Selling, big business. OK, but just remember, all the money ends up in the same place. Yeah, you're right. I get a little carried away. May the best man, or as in your case, woman, win. <laughs> Darn it! History's my only class with Lindsay, the babe of my dreams. Great, I hate physics. Oh, oh over here. My sensors have detected Culebra. I want you two to check it out. What about Drew and Swinton? Culebra seems unusually passive. If the other Sentinels are needed, I will summon them. Oh, hey, I thought you might like this. It's called chocolate. Chocolate? Scorpio! Torres! What do 
you think Calibra is doing here? At the moment, nothing. <sighs> but you seem to have gotten the job done. Well, we try. Before you go, Gordon, that, what did you call it? Chalk something? Supply and demand. <laughs> Nimbar, my good blob, I just happen to be in a position to set you up with as much chocolate as you want. Really? Wait. Nimbar, I'm the one you should be talking to about chocolate. No one knows more about it than me. Hey, this is my customer. I gave him the free sample. Well, I am sure we all could work together. Well, what's wrong? Afraid of the competition? That's it. Now you're asking for it. Not again. You actually think you can compete with the president of junior achievement? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm the most popular girl in school. Sentinels, please. Then how about a bet? Name it. If I win, you have to join Junior Achievement. What is Junior Achievement? Fine, but if I win, you have to perform with the cheerleading squad in the homecoming game next month. Homecoming? No problem. In uniform. Deal. And may the best man win. Woman. Person. Does this mean you've reached an understanding? Yes. Yes. Swinton, where have you been all day? Me? I've been in school. Really? I must have missed you. You always miss me, Lori. <laughs> oh, you are so funny. Would you like to buy a candy bar? They're only a dollar. Hey, Swinton, old buddy. Now, I know how much you love chocolate, so uh, if I got a deal for you. Gordon. Three candy bars for $2. Wow. That's a 33% discount. Sold. Drew, give me a dollar. Here. You gotta try some decaf. Thanks, you just bought a candy bar. You know, Swinton, with your contacts in the Digit Head crowd, you can help me sell a ton of candy. I mean, all you guys do is compute and eat. But your Generation X friends would eat dozens of these things if you'd sell them here. Forget him, he's mine! You forget him, he's mine! Both of you forget him, we're in bars. I have summoned you all because Culebra has returned. As I suspected, Gordon and Laurie's earliest victory was not an accident. The only accident was calling Gordon at all. Hey, I had everything under control until you got in the way. We have no time for this. To the transfer discs. Well, she started it. Oh, yeah? Who got us blasted in the first place? Enough! To the transfer discs. Scorpio! Taurus! Centaur! I would have been fine if I didn't have to help you. Perfect! <laughs> this is even easier than I expected. I don't need your help. Fine with me. Why don't they form Nitro? You allowed Culebra to escape. Why did you not form Nitro? Now, way to go, Swinton. You let that thing get away. Was there a problem, Swinton? 
Yes, there was. These three. I don't need them slowing me down. Hey, watch it, Brain Boy. Don't flaunt me with those two wasteoids. Wasteoids? Sentinels, please. You should practice teamwork. I could sell more candy bars than you with my eyes closed. Ha! <laughs> Who are you three kidding? I am the one with the real sales experience. I could sell more candy bars than the rest of you combined. <laughs> You're, You're on. on. Ever since you started selling these candy bars, you have fought like Taruvian fluff hogs. For your own good, I suggest you stop. And next time in battle, you will form Nitron. Me? Form Nitron? With them? No, no way. way. You guys want... Is this for real? A receipt for two more cases. Let me see that. That's a lot of chocolate. Where could she keep all that? Eight dollars, please. Thanks. You're just doing this to try to beat me. Basically, but don't forget Gordon and Swinton. You know, as much as I hate to admit it, Gordon is selling a lot of candy. Not around here. Someone started the horrible rumor that Gordon's candy is contaminated with salmonella. Well, that's terrible. What if word got around the grapevine? There it is. I knew it was there. Whoa. It's like a freezer in there. Find the thermostat. We'll turn up the heat. In a few minutes, all she'll have is chocolate sauce. Remember, we're only doing this together because Drew has an unfair advantage with the coffee house. After this, it's every man for himself. Hey, you got it. When I win, I win alone. You mean if. I'll just make a few phone calls to the right people and Swinton sales will dry up. And in return, I'll stay away from the coffee house, right? Cool. With Gordon and Swinton out of the way, it will just be you and me in a fair competition. <laughs> Careful, Swinton. Don't break it. Come on, Swinton. <laughs> there. The heat's on. And just what are you two up to? Uh, us? Of all the dirty tricks. It was Swinton. I was just trying to stop him. You what? Do I look stupid, Gordon? Wait a minute. Do you think I'd cheat to win? Cheat, lie, and steal. Especially lie. Oh, and you're Mr. Innocent Swinton? Does the word salmonella ring a bell with you, Drew? That was you? Oh, then I'm glad I'm here. Sabotage deserves sabotage. I can't believe you two. And you're Miss Innocent? Yeah. At least I wasn't caught with the evidence in my hand. Oh. Nimbar's calling. Forget it. I'm not going and leaving my candy to melt. Drew, come on, the portal's open. When I summon you, you answer. That's how it works. I would have gotten here sooner if these three weren't trying to cheat me. I think I have determined what Culebra is trying to do. Well, you can explain it to them, because I'm going to handle this scaly monster alone. Taurus! Oh, sure. He always wants to be the hero. Well, not this time. Apollo! Swinton, stop! At least I can talk to you two. Hey! Scorpio! You saw that, Nimar. She deliberately pushed me. Well, I'll show her. Centaur! What happened? I locked off your transom disc. I must tell you what Culebra is doing so you can warn the others before it is too late. Watch out! Take care of Calibra.
What are you doing? I'm missing the fight. It is a trick. Look, if Kulibra could fight like this, why did it run before? It wanted to wait to Nana challenges. So? Think, Swinton. When did you start getting so competitive? Wait a minute. It started after we got hit by Kulibra's rage. Exactly. Look, we both know what we need. I'll form Nitron if you will. Deal. Hurry. You must convince the others. Centaur! Apollo! This is better than I thought, Legna. They are fighting amongst themselves. Tars, we need Nitron. Never! I told you all before I don't need you. I was afraid you'd say that. Don't just stand there. Spawn Nitron! I knew I could count on one of them to figure it out. <clears throat> well, I certainly hope so, anyway. I'd never doubted you for a second. Then why didn't you tell us Calibra was causing all the trouble? I tried, but none of you would listen. Were we that bad? Worse, but I forgive you. Thanks. Thanks. It's so nice to see you all so friendly. It won't last. Pessimist. Realist. What happened to all the candy bars? Yeah, we left them right. Nimbar, you didn't <sighs> eat them all. It is a good thing I did. I was about to give up on you and your galaxy, but now I found a reason to tolerate you for. Yours is the only planet in the universe that produces chocolate. But we have to pay for those. Yeah, and what about the contest? The bats, who wins? <laughs> Looks like Earth to me. <laughs> <laughs>